Astronomers have been shocked. The James Webb Telescope has detected a black hole 70 million light years away, whose shock waves of dust and gas are overturning previous theories about the energy sources of active galactic nuclei. But what are some of the most powerful spectacles that have taken place in the depths of the universe? Why do they contradict our current models? And how could this mass monster help us solve one of the greatest mysteries of modern space research? Join us on this cosmic journey in This Changes Everything. James Webb reveals a hidden dust veil near a supermassive black hole. Black holes are considered cosmic omnivores, gigantic machines of destruction that wipe out everything in their path. Yet, this is only half the truth. It is undisputed that these gravity monsters have the destructive property of irretrievably swallowing everything that crosses their path due to their extreme compactness. To understand what lies behind this often cited compactness, consider this. The diameter of a hypothetical black hole with the mass of the sun would be 2.9 kilometers, while a black hole with the mass of the Earth would not even reach the one centimeter mark. As a result of the incomparably strong gravity, nothing that passes the event horizon of a black hole can escape. Not radiation, not information, and certainly not matter. Outside this cosmic death zone, however, and this is crucial, black holes behave like normal massive bodies and can be orbited by other celestial objects in stable orbits. Although supermassive black holes, which can exceed the mass of the sun by millions or even billions of times, still pose many mysteries, they are believed to play a fundamental role in the evolution of galaxies. But there's more. Astronomers now believe that almost every galactic center is home to a supermassive black hole, and the Milky Way is no exception. Our central black hole, known as Sagittarius a -sta, holds a mass of about 4 million suns. The extraordinary black hole currently making headlines with its unexpected activity lies dormant in a galaxy with the rather unwieldy name ESO 428-434. A Newcastle University lecturer, part of the Galactic Activity Taurus and Outflow Survey, Gatos Project, has used the James Webb Telescope to study the nuclei of nearby galaxies and recently made a groundbreaking discovery. As mentioned earlier, the galaxy of interest is about 70 million light years away and harbors an active supermassive black hole at its core. This black hole voraciously consumes surrounding matter and emits intense light across the entire electromagnetic spectrum. It enjoys a rich galactic buffet that other black holes could only dream of. By comparison, Sagittarius Asta is surrounded by so little matter that it's like a human eating a grain of rice every few million years. Due to this cosmic force diet, Sagittarius A is considered a quiet black hole, though it has noisy neighbors. These include the supermassive black hole M87 star, located in the center of the enormous galaxy Messier 87, around 55 million light years away. Not only is it significantly more massive than Sagittarius A, with 6.5 billion solar masses, but it's also surrounded by a vast amount of gas and dust, constantly supplying it with new material. However, due to its angular momentum, the matter cannot simply fall directly into M87 Tiro. Instead, it forms a swirling, flattened cloud of gas and dust, an accretion disk, that gradually feeds the black hole. Supermassive black holes like M87 Na do not passively wait to be fed. The extreme gravitational force of the Colossus generates enormous tidal forces in the accretion disk, heating it up to 10 million degrees Celsius. This intense heat causes the accretion disk to shine brightly, contributing to the luminous spectacle of the active galactic nucleus. Despite their voracious appetite, black holes don't consume all the surrounding material. Strong magnetic fields direct some of the matter in the accretion disk toward the black hole's poles, accelerating charged particles to nearly the speed of light. From the poles, this matter is expelled as parallel jets, which are accompanied by emissions across the electromagnetic spectrum, especially radio waves. Because of these factors, active galactic nuclei can be so bright that they outshine the light of all the stars in their home galaxy. However, Despite their radiant power, the pulsating hearts of galaxies were often invisible to telescopes in the past. This is because the dust enveloping active galactic nuclei blocks our terrestrial view by absorbing visible light and other wavelengths of electromagnetic radiation. Fortunately, infrared light can pass through this veil of dust, 
and the James Webb Telescope was specifically designed for infrared astronomy. With this in mind, the most powerful space telescope of all time is the perfect tool for unlocking the hidden centers of active galactic nuclei. When the Gatos team turned that key in the galaxy ESO 428-434, they discovered that the energy heating the swirling cloud of gas and dust may actually come from collisions with gas jets rather than from the supermassive black hole itself, as previously thought. The detection of such a shock structure came as a surprise to scientists, but it demonstrates the enormous effects that radio jets from black holes can have on their surroundings the dusty shock may hold even greater potential for discovery. By studying the dust near supermassive black holes, experts could better understand how galaxies recycle their material and how black holes influence galaxies in general. A central black hole rarely comes alone, and it is possible that Sagittarius a sti has a sibling, a so-called intermediate black hole. Astronomers now suggest that the latest data indicates Sagittarius I may be accompanied by an intermediate black hole, which is rare and poorly understood. This class of black holes could serve as a precursor to supermassive black holes, and in the case of IRS-13, the densest and largest structure near Sagittarius A star, a 30,000 solar mass intermediate black hole may be present, holding the star cluster together. If confirmed, this discovery would mark a breakthrough in space research, as intermediate black holes are extremely rare. Furthermore, they are considered a possible bridge between stellar black holes and supermassive formations found in galactic cores, potentially offering insight into how supermassive black holes grow. Researchers are now planning further investigations to unlock the mysteries surrounding Sagittarius A and its cosmic sibling. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off. 